Good morning. My name is Michael McMonagle. I'm a veteran leader in the Philadelphia area pro-life movement since 1979. Pennsylvania has become the key state and the key election to the future of our nation and our church. And the key demographic is Catholics. We Catholics in Pennsylvania will decide who the next president is. We are here in front of the cathedral to appeal to our new Archbishop, Nelson Perez, to please use courage and logic to tell your flock that it is sinful to vote for Joe Biden. You join with your brother bishops and your predecessor, Archbishop Charles Chaput, last November to proclaim that the preeminent obligation of Catholics is to protect innocent human life from conception to natural death. You, as one of your brother bishops in Pennsylvania, have issued documents that clearly show Joe Biden's pro-abortion record. So please use logic and courage to make the obvious connection that is immoral for Catholics to vote for Joe Biden because of this record and because they would betray the preeminent obligation that you have proclaimed. You have backed away from this obligation because you're concerned allegedly about IRS regulations wrong on the facts and wrong on the principle. You have every legal right as an American citizen and a duty as a shepherd of our Lord's church to proclaim the sinfulness of voting for Joe Biden. And so what if you lost IRS regulations? Isn't sanctity of human life worth defying IRS regulations? Get your priorities straight. The issue is you're afraid of the reaction, that you would get bad press, that it would be controversial, and it would be. Proclaiming it as sinful to vote for Joe Biden would be controversial, but it is true. And our Lord's judgment, he would embrace you and welcome you for such great courage. And he would pour blessings upon this archdiocese, which has seen much scandal and heartbreak in recent years. This is our hour for Catholics in the Philadelphia Archdiocese to win our nation back to our Lord. Please show leadership that our Lord has placed you in this position. In summary, this is your Esther moment. God placed you in Philadelphia Archdiocese for just a, mo a time as this. You have the opportunity to win this election for life. Please do your duty and may God bless you. Okay, Archbishop Perez, we are tired of waiting for clarity from you. We are your sheep. Please speak out in truth and clarity. You must say that it is wrong for a Catholic to vote for Joe Biden. We must not support abortion in any way, any day of the week. But your Catholics are confused, and we know it because we've been speaking to them. Archbishop, you must speak to them because you have the authority of your position. We've contacted Archbishop Perez and asked him to be clear on the issue of voting for Democrats and Biden, and all we received back is pablum. From in silence. Yes. Archbishop Perez, we are not your enemy. We are your friends, reminding you of your sacred duty before God and man to speak here and now in Philadelphia to your flock in Pennsylvania. Do you realize how much power you have? If you fail to speak and notify Catholics who think it's okay to vote for Biden, you not only fail the unborn babies, you fail those Catholics in your flock because now they have grave sin upon them. Please do not let another day go by. The days are short. The time is short, Your Excellency. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. Archbishop Perez, if you value Our Lady of Guadalupe, and I know you do. If you value the notion of making a sacrifice for the unborn, then do it now, please, do it here. Otherwise, you betray the little unborn babies down the street here in Philadelphia. How many murder clinics are there where abortions are happening today? Under your watch. Throughout church history and throughout the scriptures, we see courageous men and women like John the Baptist preaching to people who are in power. Now, can you imagine John the Baptist saying, there's someone somewhere who's done something wrong. 
No. He said, Herod, it is not lawful for you to be with your brother's wife while your brother yet lives. He used Herod's name and the specific sin. And we call him Saint John the Baptist. So if Perez wants to be like Saint John the Baptist, then Perez needs to name names and name the sin. So it would go something like this, Archbishop Perez. Joe Biden, it is not lawful for you to kill babies, and it's not lawful under God for you to use our money to do it. Joe Biden, you are an evildoer. You must repent, and I am telling all of my Catholic parishioners in this diocese, it is a sin against God and babies if you vote for this man. Therefore, do not vote for him. Come on, Archbishop Perez, how hard can it be? How hard can it be, sir? What are you so afraid of? 